Look out, Armageddon is upon us. No, we are thankfully not talking about hurricanes, tidal waves, pandemics or wars. The Armageddon Pop Culture Expo starts tomorrow in Auckland, a chance for tens of thousands of sci-fi nuts, comic freaks and computer game addicts to forget the real world. Not a bad idea sometimes. This year is special. It's the 10th anniversary for the Expo. From its humble beginnings at the Avondale Raceway when 2,000 people turned out, it's grown into a three-day fantasy fun ride that's expected to lure 30,000 people. Now, a host of stars from the genre will be on hand to meet their fans. Ryan Seymour spent some time with two of them. It's a shambles today, but tomorrow morning it will be Armageddon. Actor John Rhys Davies was at the expo last year. All right, there you have it. And but he's back alongside right, Star Trek favourite Gates McFadden. What was your favourite um, sci fi book? Yeah. A Canticle for Leibowitz. I don't know, know it. A Canticle for Leibowitz? Hmm. That won't feature at the expo, the but there will be a fair bit of this. To boldly go where no one has gone before. As Dr. Beverly Crusher in Star Trek The Next Generation, Gates McFadden is part of the cultural phenomenon that's gone where many others wish they could. And these small projections? An android alarm clock. Is that amusing? It's not as much. I mean, I find all the technological stuff interesting, but it's the other. It's the ethics of things and whether we learn from history or don't. And in the end, all good, all good yarns are about good and evil, really. Mm-hmm. I think so. And There's plenty of both at Armageddon. Last year's event had them queuing by the thousands to get close to those they love. <laughs> and love to hate. But with so many similar conventions held around the world, how do these stars get psyched up for yet another fan frenzy? And if you listen to people uh, properly, you never hear the same thing over and over again. Mm. Another way is to remember their own encounters with the stars they've idolized. It really was this odd experience. You've seen somebody's face as big as a car, and now they're right in front of you. But I find most people can get past that pretty quickly. And, and um, with the exception of there are people who are obsessive about things. When you become a film or television actor, you lose sight of that audience. And I find these conventions tell me more about our audience. Um, sometimes more than I wish to know, but, <laughs> but it's fascinating. Actually, that's really lovely. I, I, I hadn't quite thought of it that way. That's really interesting. Are you wearing cologne? Like something I smelled earlier, something Klingon. One of the perks One is the that you get perks. to the gates. Yeah. Armageddon is a bit of everything that's fantasy. It's uh, comics, computer games, sci-fi, um, trading cards, wrestling, music. Uh, if you want to, if you, if you collect it or uh, enjoy it, it's pretty much here. Ten years ago, the first Armageddon at Auckland's Avondale Raceway lured comic book and trading card collectors outside. We've been at small community centres and, and smaller raceways and, and we've moved to pretty much the entire Aotea Centre. There's not an inch of this venue we're not using. This year, the gaming industry alone is spending half a million dollars on its displays with the new Xbox 360 taking center stage. I see in your eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. Lord of the Rings fans are very smart, and I think Star Trek, Trekkie fans tend to be very smart as well. Are they smarter but, than you? No, oh, I'm sure. Oh, often. Yeah. Often. Yeah. Angel One has evolved into a constitutional oligarchy. The, the extraordinary thing about the Star Trek franchise is that a few hundred years from now, there really will be, there really will be spaceships going out. Absolutely. Yeah. And they'll be laughing at some of the things that the Star Trek people did or do. But the same, the bond, the, 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 the values of Star Trek are impeccable that you do not interfere wantonly in cult cultures. Prime directive, that, yep. That, 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 that life is sacred. After multiple TV episodes and movies spent in space, Gates hopes to one day actually board a rocket and travel out of our atmosphere. That would be fantastic. And the best way for you to do that... Is with you? Well, well certainly with me. But the best way for you to do that, <laughs> boys and girls, 
men and women, is to join the Planetary Society <laughs> at planetary.org. Otherwise, there's always Armageddon. And you'll remember John Rhys Davies, of course, is the dwarf in Lord of the Rings. Well, he's actually taller than his co stars in that movie, Viggo Mortensen, Orlando Bloom, and Sir Ian McKellen. Yet, of course, he was the dwarf. The Armageddon Pop Culture Expo opens tomorrow at the Artea Centre and runs right through the long weekend.